Heidi Casper here, WordPress 101 Streamers. And we've been working on the Weaver 2 theme, and a lot of the things you can do in the main category, the main options category tab, and you can do a lot of things to change the general appearance on it, how wide your theme is, uh, you've got your background, and various things that you can change there, uh, whether you want colors that you want to use on different parts, the con the uh, wrapper, the content, it's different little areas, like kind of like putting a um, let's say you're cutting out little blocks and you put a smaller one on top of one and a smaller one on top of one. You could each make each one of those layers a different color or a different background image if you wanted. And you can do those type of changes in the general appearance tab. You've got the layout tab where you can decide uh, how many different uh, you want your widgets here, you want your widgets over there, do you want one column, do you want two columns. You have a lot of various choices that you can have and put in there as to how on the layout of your site. And then you can change your fonts and your widget areas. You can change the header area. This is the header area up here. And now we're going to work on the navigation area and changing the colors and things there. Okay, here's our site as we were working on it. And we're going to go ahead and make some changes. We're going to go on over to menus now. The menus is what will change your um, menu bar, your navigation bar. And um, that will be good. We're going to change, I already changed one of the colors here. I went and changed it so it had the same color that I had for the, uh, the site description over there. I just copied the same color over. And over here, you can see they have a really dark for the hover. When you hover. It's almost a, an almost black there when you go over it. And I think I would rather have it closer to this one. Uh, so anyway, we're going to change that. I'm going to pick the darker color that I have up here for the tile. And it also has a problem with one too many pound marks there. So I can get that fixed and say. Okay, and it's still storming outside, so you can hear some rumbling in the background, I'm sure. I like to use a lot of the same colors different places in the side or variations of them. And so I'm picking some of the colors that I used over here for the header to go over here for some of the other colors here and you want to look at them and do those colors look fine together and you can kind of tell that they do there and then that gives you go ahead and see how it looks like on your web okay now this is looking like this and what it has is if I put a page that's going to be like uh, the, the black page is the parent of it and some of the drop down and those other colors will show up down here if there's a drop down menu uh, I don't have a drop down menu here in this one. Uh, this one has a drop down menu. See, and that's what goes up and goes down. Okay, and we've got some of those navigation things changed. And the white, the, this shows what you, you can change off of your text, but if you make it a bold, you can make it italic. So if you want to change how it shows up here, um, I'm happy with how it's showing up right now. I could change it if I wanted to. The other thing that's really cool about Weaver 2 that I didn't have on the other Weaver is you can change some things and how they look like for your mobile phone. And I'll have to get a mobile phone out and check and see what it looks like and go back and change some of these if I want to change them. Uh, so that they'll work well on the mobile phone. You do want to have the website so that they work well with mobile phones. And uh, that's very good here. And as I said before, you got got... Um, some of these questions here that you have here that you can go to get right to the uh, answers of how to do things. And as you go along, you can see some of the things here that are um, for their, that you can't see that are um, for the pro version. You can add HTML to the menu bar. If you've got extra space on your menu bar along here, either side, you can add some words, text, links, link something that you want to add there. Here's just a sample. I'm going to go ahead and put the welcome here. I'm um, going to the right. Here's how it looks, but I could use more HTML and change the appearance and the coding and stuff on it. Maybe you have a special contest or something and that would be good to bring over to it right there. Just use your imagination the things that you want to use and how to do that. And you can change it. There's anything you want to do here with this website you can do. Have fun with this. Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers.